Imagine peering into the cosmic cradle and witnessing something that shouldn't exist at all. The James Webb Space Telescope has just discovered phenomena that defy contemporary theories. We stand at the dawn of a new scientific era, and at this moment, no one knows where this journey will lead. One thing can be said with certainty, the recent discoveries are revolutionary, staggering, and will forever alter our understanding of the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST for short, is a technological marvel with a price tag of $15 billion, surpassing the Hubble Space Telescope in range and image clarity by a significant margin. Since the summer of 2022, this telescope has been providing us with fantastic images of the early universe, menacing black holes, and planets within our own solar system. Featuring 16 honeycomb-like mirrors, it is the most unconventional telescope humans have ever built. This telescope was the hope of thousands of astronomers on Earth, eagerly awaiting its launch, knowing that the new capabilities of the telescope would soon reveal what they had dreamed of their entire lives. They anticipated truth, confirmation of ideas that had long remained theoretical on paper. Then came the shock. The JWST performed admirably in its task. After safely reaching space, it directed its mirrors at a region of the cosmos that seemed almost empty for over 72 hours. However, this area appears empty only when viewed from Earth. James Webb captures the oldest light signals of the universe precisely here. In a region where there is no interference from stars or nearby galaxies in the foreground, the telescope can detect light signals that have been traveling towards us for 13.5 billion years or even more. In this image, after an exceptionally long exposure, these oldest signals appear as blurry red spots. The light is orange, a bit closer to us it turns yellow, and well-defined blue or white light spots emanate from closer light sources. Almost all the light signals in this image are not individual stars. Here, we witness the advantage of very old galaxies emitting light. Perhaps it will surprise you that many scientists suddenly found themselves not thrilled with what they had long sought. The results turned out to be different from what they had hoped for. Astronomers and cosmologists immediately began analyzing this image. It was clear that this image would reveal the oldest galaxies in the universe, but no one knew just how old these galaxies would turn out to be, how they formed, how dense they were, and what elements they contained. Shock engulfed everyone when shortly after the photo's publication, Indian-American researcher Rohan Naidu discovered a galaxy existing just 300 million years after the Big Bang. And this wasn't supposed to be the only discovery of its kind. Naidu and his team, along with other international research groups, found one very old galaxy after another. The reports disrupted the narrative of the Big Bang and the previous cosmological understanding of the universe. Galaxies of such age existed at a time when only stellar precursors were expected to be present. The magic of this discovery lay in the fact that many dedicated young researchers felt motivated to think differently, to continue the search for even more ancient galaxies, and to believe in the possibility that conservative studies had long rejected. New theories are proposed, and some old models of the universe, which never received the attention they perhaps deserved, are being revitalized. Our cosmos is being reinvented, so to speak, from a scientific perspective. So, JWST disappointed only those who hoped that everything would remain the same. For those who have long thought that the Big Bang Theory is not as complete and compatible with the realities of modern quantum physics, the new findings are a confirmation. They continue to seek the truth about the origin and nature of our universe and do not rely solely on theories. In fact, such a development could have been foreseen. One of the Hubble's recent great discoveries was the galaxy GNZ11, which existed at a redshift of 11.6, approximately 420 million years after the Big Bang. Even this discovery challenged the old view, but it was a singular case and precisely explainable. The higher the redshift, the further back in the past we observe galaxies. The redshift describes how much the light of a galaxy has been stretched due to the expansion of the universe. The galaxies first discovered by Rohan Naidu and his team had a redshift of 13, meaning they existed about 300 million years after the Big Bang. Some scientists are still cautious about these figures and argue that all these discoveries come with a big, but because none of these redshifts has been confirmed so far. It is also not proven that they are indeed galaxies. Nevertheless, light is undeniably present, and it is clear that it must be ancient. If it is not emitted by galaxies, then where does it come from? Gravitational lensing is a common method used by astronomers to detect and determine the properties of very ancient objects in space. 
Astronomers, led by Xian Yuan from the University of Missouri in Columbia, utilized it to find 88 candidate galaxies beyond a redshift of 11. The team also discovered a galaxy with an incredible redshift value of 20z. High redshift galaxies were found in two other studies where JWST used only deep exposures. These images are part of the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Sewers, study. Sewers worked with estimates obtained using JWST's near-infrared camera. Additional data on the presumed galaxies were identified using JWST's near-infrared spectrograph, NIR-SPEC, in conjunction with other instruments like the mid-infrared instrument, MIRI. Astronomers from the University of Edinburgh used a similar approach to detect another galaxy candidate with a redshift of 16.7. This implies that this galaxy existed only about 250 million years after the Big Bang. Another team, led by Stephen Finkelstein from the University of Texas at Austin, using the Sewers method, discovered a galaxy with a redshift of 14.3, dating it to around 280 million years after the Big Bang. Since then, this galaxy has become known as the Macy Galaxy. Finkelstein promptly turned this discovery into a birthday gift for his daughter Macy. Confirmation that this is a galaxy is still lacking because we cannot clearly see whether it is indeed a galaxy. Computers work with the spectrum of light and analyze it. The computer assumes that the light was emitted by galaxies, then certain algorithms analyze the light spectrum and come up with fairly accurate values for size, density, mass, number of stars, and so on. However, this does not prove that the light was actually emitted by galaxies. Supermassive black holes, which can also shine brightly under certain circumstances, are also being discussed. If the computer assumes that black holes emit the light for its calculations, the results are different. So, the current weaknesses of existing technologies lie in determining what we actually see there. But even if the light was emitted by black holes, we must ask ourselves how such gigantic black holes could exist shortly after the Big Bang. All these distant galaxies showcase significant ultraviolet light emission. Once again, this serves as evidence for the ionization of hydrogen gas, which, according to our previous cosmological models, was expected to put an end to cosmic dark ages. During the dark ages in the young universe, there was no light, only when the first stars began to shine did the cosmos brighten up. In their study, the Edinburgh team calculated the ultraviolet luminosity of candidate galaxies between redshifts 8 and 15. The amount of ultraviolet light emitted by these galaxies at any given moment was averaged using meteoric measurements presented earlier. Typically, galaxies emit more ultraviolet light than young hot stars. The Dannon team concluded that, in fact, the ultraviolet radiation emitted by stars in these early galaxies was more than sufficient for ionizing the universe. This means that these recently discovered galaxies with high redshifts could well have existed on the threshold of cosmic illumination. In contrast to modern galaxies, these galaxies likely have a size of only a few thousand light years in diameter and contain only tens of millions of stars. According to specialists from Scotland, the newly discovered galaxies reflect a generation of galaxies that formed shortly after the first ones and are still in a nascent state. The abundance of high redshift galaxies discovered by JWST, as well as the amount of ultraviolet light shifted into infrared waves, further suggests that in the early history of the universe, galaxies were more numerous than previously thought. This would be an entirely new discovery, but it doesn't necessarily refute the Big Bang Theory. We would just have to adjust our previous assumptions about the duration of dark ages and the formation of the first stars and galaxies. According to the Finkelstein team, our cosmos was already brightly lit by numerous small galaxies in less than 300 million years after the Big Bang. Other researchers found very old galaxies in JWST images that seem very large and massive. Their luminosity possibly corresponds to the luminosity of modern galaxies. These researchers concluded that the first galaxies, if they were indeed the first, must have been true stellar accelerators. Perhaps, many bright and relatively short-lived giant stars formed in them. The existence of early giant stars has already been computationally proven. However, until now, researchers did not assume that these first large stars were already organized into galaxies. Astronomer Ren Zeus from the University of California, Santa Cruz, compared Hubble and Webb images of the same galaxies taken around cosmic noon. It turned out that most large galaxies in the infrared wavelength range measured by Webb are significantly smaller than those in Hubble's photos. According to Zeus, Hubble studies showed that galaxies start small and expand over time. 
However, the results obtained by JWST suggest that Hubble didn't see everything. And this indicates that the evolution of galaxies may be more complex than previously thought. Subscribe not to miss new videos.